it looked better in my mind. <laughs> Here's what I picked. This is gonna be for your girls' night out. Check it. Check it. I'm gonna get changed now. So this is the look that Michael has given me for lunch with my friends, right? Yes. Don't forget, there's a bag as well. If you're gonna be with the girls, you got to go. Quiet. Okay. So this. Okay. All right. Talk us through. So just I know you like wide leg, very comfortable. They look nice, actually. Nice fabric. Okay. The heels give you some height because you need that with those kind of. Pants. The layering with the sweatshirt and the button-down shirt, that's very Karen. Um, yeah, that's about it. And I just thought throwing a big teddy to keep you warm because it's going to be cold outside. Just to get the whole effect. All right, so that's, that's, this is the whole look. You guys leave comments below on which one you like out of all these outfits, which is your favorite. It's bad, isn't it? <laughs> it's like, are you asking or are you Yeah, scary? I'm asking because I have a feeling... This is a disaster. I'm not saying anything <laughs> from beginning to end. Probably the wrong pant. The wrong pant, okay. Yeah, now that I'm looking at it. I like everything else, I think it's just the wrong I think it's just too much black and white. Like, if you get rid of the pant and put something else on. But I like the top. Top and the bag selection is good. Okay, so you, you, like, you like this whole vibe. This is H&M, you know the MS Kelly. These are Jacquemus wide leg pants. Yeah, throw you in. I love those pants. Yeah, these pants are great. They're really good. Okay, white tie-ups. All right, cool. So that is look number one. We are now going to move on to look number two. Okay, so look number two is date night. Yes. Okay, so um, when you go from this to... to... I don't want to snap my fingers. <laughs> to this. Click. Okay, so... Oh. Hey. This is a date night look. Okay, so walk us through. I know you love the pleated skirts. They always look really nice. The top is not exactly the one that I, would, I was trying to find one a little bit more form-fitted, but this is kind of giving you the idea with the turtleneck kind of thing. The jacket, oversized, of course, because we know that's what Cameron likes is oversized. It gives it a little bit more sophisticated feel. Still playful with the shoes because she likes her chunky shoes. Don't forget, comment below which one you like. Oh. Had to give it just a little bit of color, nothing crazy, but as you can see, it definitely helps. I like the gold as well, the accent on it, it picks up in the skirt. Oh, right, the gold just the, That's your accent color, is the bag okay. itself. So you can see how it looks. Oh, it looks pretty good. That's the date night. Will you go on a date with me? Oh. Again? Are you asking me out? Yes. Always. Very quickly, yes. Very quickly? <laughs> Bloody cheap! <laughs> Comment which one you prefer um, out of all the looks you're going to see in this video. Yeah, but this is this is very me, actually, this kind of vibe. You caught like the oversized look and all that stuff. Um, it's kind of like my version of probably the date night. <laughs> so you did it quite well. <laughs> all right, nice. Yeah, bad, yeah. Watching the two of us on YouTube honestly reminds me of like a character, like your favorite couple that you're watching on television. I'm always looking for a new program to watch because I think on, on Instagram, I'm always like doing polls and what's the latest thing to watch, but there is something that I am really have got into and it is brilliant. This part of the video is in partnership with Acorn TV. They are the largest commercial free British streaming service and it is brilliant. I just recently discovered them and they offer hundreds of different shows around the world. They have lots of compelling stories, exclusive premieres and originals, programs you've not seen before anywhere on television. And I personally am craving that because I'm always, I feel like I'm looking at the same programs over and over and I'm constantly, Instagram, you guys know, I'm always looking for something new to watch. And they have lots of different genres as well. So if you're into comedy, if you're into thrillers, drama, just tons, just like real good cross section of different types of programs. So they have a little bit of something for everyone. And you can get it for only $5.99 per month. 
like how easy it was to install. We installed it on the Apple TV, but it works on Apple and Android devices. It works with Amazon Fire TV and Google. Roku as well, I think it I is. I don't think Roku. No, it says Roku. Does it? Well, yeah, oh. apparently so. And Roku as well. So it's so it's it's accessible. <laughs> I think you'll be able to get exactly. it. Exactly. But we watch it on Apple TV. And it's been yes. really really good because like I just sit there like just with my cup of tea. If I find a good series, I hooked. I'm hooked on it, and I'm going to just keep on watching. I feel like everyone is watching the same sort of programs and everyone's recommending the same things and we've kind of exhausted seeing them, but they have so many new releases and they usually come out every single Monday from around the world, so you never get tired of what to watch. I have just finished watching one on Acorn TV and it is, it's so good, it's called um, Manhunt, The Night Stalker and it's, oh, yeah. it's really, really good. I literally just finished it last night and it's based on a true story it's a 17 year old case in England. This did happen and they call it Night Hunter because they looked for him at night. They were looking for a guy who was um, doing burglaries and also he was um, attacking um, elderly people um, in their homes. And this, they couldn't crack the case. They could never find him. And he was literally terrorizing massive neighborhoods and no one could get him. And I guess the case has went cold. They brought back a detective. He basically cracked the case in a matter of weeks. Something that took 17 years, knowing that it's a true story as well, makes it even more interesting to me. And that is just a, one example of a show that I would never have heard of, never have seen anywhere else, and I loved it. So try Acorn TV free for 30 days by going to acorn.tv and use code Karen Britchick, which is pretty easy because... You're Karen Britchick. Um, I'll leave a link for you in the description box below and let me know if you give it a try. Okay, so the next outfit uh, challenge is running errands so what would you <laughs> all right so let's i don't know what i'm doing i think i'm warming up all right yeah <laughs> right running errands okay so here we go all right so this is my outfit for mm -hmm. running errands yes given to me by michael i like it tell me what you guys think i like it i wonder where those pants came from but i like it a lot all right so take take us take everyone through this outfit yeah so those are karen's famous cargos she has some uggs ugly shoes but they're not really ugly they're actually kind of cute actually quite enough. like these yeah they're, um, they're ugg sneakers but they're platform and they're really comfortable yeah and that was the whole idea behind this so if she's going out running errands you want to be comfortable nice comfortable uh jumper if you will is that what you call it hoodie it's what yeah your hoodie yeah and then just crossbody a simple bag nothing crazy just something nice and small for like to put my cash, my keys out the door, everything, just yeah. essentials. Anyway, I like that look. I actually really like it. It's really, and it, it looks like something that I would wear just to literally run out the door. So this is pretty good actually. Again, put your votes in the comments, which outfit you like. Right, I guess so we'll go to the Snappy next fingers. one. Shopping. <laughs> shopping. Shopping there outfit. All right, so this is the next outfit. It's going to be shopping. And when we see, when you mean shopping, I mean errands, like running errands, grocery shopping. You actually mean. How about how about what you, when you when you want to go shopping at Hermes? What do you wear? Oh my God, no! Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> do you actually, do you want to do that as a joke, or just want to do shopping in general? <laughs> Let's make it comical. What you need to wear if you're going to go shopping at Hermes? <laughs> What are you gonna wear for that? Here we go. <laughs> this is the whole outfit that Michael has yes. picked out for going to MS. So it's like you just threw the clothes on. <laughs> you just like <laughs> I ain't even gonna style the shit. Half my collar sticking up. The other. All right, you not. saw me. What what? What what? What what? Well, first I would definitely take the collar out. Okay. That would be me. Um, these are fine, I guess. This, I don't know. Something didn't work there. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It looked better in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then underneath. Yeah, I suspect that you tucked in. Gammy um, wide leg jeans. Yes. And, you, and you put me in my Converse. These yes. are the Converse high hikes. Yes. Okay. I think you should go in comfortable because your ass is going to be sitting around for at least an hour. Let's <laughs> <laughs> see whether you're worthy. I'm not worthy. Don't get dressed up in fancy clothes because trust me, you're going to be so uncomfortable for the next hour and a half. <laughs> and they're still going to tell you no. <laughs> but 
you know, I love everything down below. I just got to figure out the up top. And I still like the idea of having like a button down, you know, because yeah. that's like a nod to respect. You know, you're going into a high end place. You want to dress a little bit. You can... But be you. Yes. Which is that, that's a bit of me. Yeah. Like just kind of casual, casualizing it a bit with like having like mm -hmm. the French cuffs sticking out. Yep. From the 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 knit. I actually like this color combination, like the pastel. Um, baby blue mm -hmm. of the shirt and this cream knit. I think that's a really nice color combo. Um, and this is sticking out here, obviously. Yeah. So I get it. I get. I get. I think I get what we're trying to do. I <laughs> so mean, I like it. It's. I like the bag pop. I, lo I love it. I just it's so unexpected. So I, I like that. Not bad. <laughs> Comment below of what you would do to help Michael to tweak this to make this. Or do you like it just the way it is? So, this is going to be so... We will both read your comments. Okay? Yes. Just so you know. It's just not going to be me. Michael's going to be looking at your comments as well. I will. So you can address him directly in the comments. All right, so the next and last outfit is going to be... What was it going out for? To the wine country or countryside or something? What did you just say? Yeah, we're going to go to a vineyard for the day. Going to the vineyard for the day. Okay. So this is the going to vineyards, right? Going to vineyards outfit, a la Michael. Yeah. So is this it? Yeah, it's another poor attempt, I think. Um, <laughs> let me see. Swap. No, that's that's not working either. No. And you put you gave me these glasses as well. I think it's the pants, the short, the jeans. The jeans. That's the problem. Yeah. Okay. It's the jeans. It's I failed miserably at the jeans. <laughs> oh, I don't think they're that bad. So we've got here, I think this is a Uniqlo um, turtleneck polo, gray, love it. And this is the Isabel Morant um, vest. And then these jeans are Rachel Comey. They're very high-waisted, they're wide leg cut, and they're cropped. So what do you think? Either the wrong shirt or the wrong jean? Ask them. What do you think? <laughs> they heard you the first time. I don't know. I feel like if you change the jeans out to something different, it could work a lot better. But I also feel like if you change that gray top out, the jeans and the this sheepskin looking thing, I'm not sure what that is, they look good. <laughs> I'll tell you what I would have... This is the last one. I probably would have put instead... Because um, I actually like this look. Oh, I would probably switch to something camel colored because I, I just like the warmth that it gives. Um, mm -hmm. I, I mean, it doesn't have to be necessarily this one. And it allows the so, focus to be on the jeans. Yeah, you yeah. should imagine if my arms are camel. See, I'm well. learning something too. Yeah, and then that would pick up on any of the bags there that's you go. camel colored. So this is, this is the color. Yeah, just imagine. I know. I would wear that. And then obviously the arms would be that same color as the front. God, this looks, this needs pressing so bad. Um, and then this bag, and then imagine this is a camel arm, and then you just put your hands in your jeans and you're holding, holding your camel bag. See, I just picked the wrong color. And then you got like the, the cream picking up on the cream. Yes, sir. I love the way you did that. And then you've got the, the glasses. Yes. This is a lovely, like, Bright but chilly day. You're gonna be outside, of course. Yeah, you're gonna be outside sipping vino. And see, look at all that. All day. Oh man, you look. But you get the point. There you go. That's the that's the vibe. I think he was thinking. But no, we got this, which is still fine. Ah. Look, What's it's the high pitch on? Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> but I still I still understand it. I could see maybe if I switched because this is grey and it's cooler, I probably would have put the black boots with it because I feel like the black goes with the grey much better because this is such a cool toned um, piece mm -hmm. so I would have gone with the black boots only because of the grey that's the only reason but anyway let me know what okay. you think and then I probably would have maybe changed this as well yeah, great great Michael on how he did by styling Karen <laughs> so those are all the looks is she gonna do me next <laughs> Is that what you, really? You just go through my stuff and you style me. Okay, you know what I'm gonna say? Challenge. Comment below if you want me to do Michael, no, God, that doesn't sound right. If you want me to style 
Michael next, okay? <laughs> um, and yeah, that is it. It was this was cool. fun. I actually enjoyed doing this with you. Yeah. We, never, I, we didn't rehearse or anything. I'm not sure if that showed. I'm sure it came across. <laughs> um, but that's it. Uh, subscribe to this channel if you if you like what you see. <laughs> I'll see you on Instagram between now and Friday. All right, take care, my loves. That is it. We're done. Bye. <laughs> I was just saying that um, I could see a pattern with the way you were dressing me, like wide leg, generally wide leg baggy jeans and um, like big oversized shirts. But that's because that's I know you like that. That's your style, is the oversized. So I was trying to play off of that. Um, mm. I think for the, the whole like date night thing, I certainly would have gone with something a little sexier. But I think for the okay. purpose of the video, date night didn't necessarily oh. have to be a you and I date night. It could have been a date night. No, just, it was. It was supposed to be about us two. But I mean, not, not romantic date night. Because I think romantic date night, I want to see her wearing something very fitting, very sexy, very beautiful. Then why didn't you do that? It was date night. Not. But I thought it was a regular. Big night. Date night. Wearing biggie clothes. So. <laughs> oh, uh, see? Anyway. Now Next the time. truth is coming out. So, a date night. You see. You, the that's just simply a dress and a pair of shoes, and the rest of it's you and that body. I know, but it's, it's about seeing <laughs> that. Oh, yes. see? Tell me, tell me what you lot think below if he should have done one what more. he was really just thinking. Just one more. Do you think he should have done it the way he was thinking? I don't know, I just didn't realise that you were thinking that way. I was, so. But I just felt like maybe too provocative or risque, I guess is the right word. We could sound like you to put me in Fenty underwear and that's no, it. No, not at all. Not at all. With a pair of heels and a, but, and a faux fur coat that's down to my ankles and that's it. And that's just a flat. nice visual you're giving me right now. But that is not what I was thinking. <laughs> One of your nice dress, you have nice dresses that fit you very, very well. And anyway, it would have been nice to see that, but next time. I can't believe you're coming out with this crap now. You could have easily got anywhere. I don't want to keep talking in circles. I want to keep this in the video. Bye. But I can't believe you didn't do that. Anyway, yeah, bye.